Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and today we are going to discussing about how to integrate with the app payment to PyTest. Okay. In my previous video, you can able to see how we can able to add for PyTest and how, how many parameterization we can able to do it. <coughs> How we can able to do for setup and tear downs in a function level and module level. This is all the things we saw, right? In this session, we are going to do a simple how we can able to integrate and run. Okay. And here also there are two different ways of integrations. Okay. The first level we can able to say uh, run in app PM in CMD. Okay, uh, like a uh, appm iphone p, or uh, we can provide for port number 4723 or 24 something. We can able to this is the first step, okay. And second one, and we can able to integrate by using for appm services, okay. This is the service service wise, wise how we can able to integrate. Okay, in my system, there is a issue with the Appium services to running with the programmatically to connect with the server. That is something issue in my local problem. Okay, I'll show you in case in, in your hand also you can recheck one more time. Okay, this is a common way to programmatically run and connect with the server by using programmatically. This is a common any place you can able to come, but still uh, I'm not able to like why my system is not allowing to running that is the one facing the issue both the cases i'll show you okay please go through that as well okay now i'm going to copy this one and pasting here okay and i'll keep it everything and i'll delete this up to here and this one <clears throat> okay now test demo one okay first one okay now this is my capability for capability to up to driver capability i'm just i'm copying and going to services location and just set a function level i'm just copy pasting okay now going to here and this all uh, packages is required right now i'm going to copying this packages <laughs> keep it in here <clears throat> okay now that error message also gone okay but i want to use this driver in another place also then how we can able to use it means we can able to provide from here there is a global keyword global keyword global and driver we can able to take that particular word that object by using that object in any location we can able to reuse okay from here, I can able to use for driver dot. I can able to use for quit. Okay. Now, if I run this particular one, I want to connect. Okay. This is the simplest way. Okay. And here localhost and everything is presented. And before that, we need to start the services. For start the services, we need to use the command is in a uh, appm or uh, cmd place like command prompt we need to use for appm space hyphen p and space we need to provide for port number which is a port number you want to connect programmatically and here is 4724 is my port number i'm going to connect it okay this is another one okay now if i run this particular one whether it will connect to that particular server or not clicking here now started this particular one we can able to see here if it is connecting then we can able to see this particular app here see now i'm able to connect for that particular one automatically it is disconnected okay and also even you can able to use for cmd in the command line also and you can able to run both the cases you can able to do it there is no issue okay <clears throat> This is a command line using. If you use command line, that as well, it will go on connect and it will close. Okay. Without any issue. Now we are able to connect with by using CMD as well as 
here terminal will also be run and also we run this is the simplest way of integration okay this is the simplest way of integration but if i want to run programmatically how we can able to use it for programmatically again we need to use here there is another thing that is a rpm rpm underscore service equal to there is a rpm rpm service this is the app is presented if you mouse over it will ask you to import okay yes so it will ask you to import and after that we can able to use for this particular service like uh, before appm1 you can <coughs> global appm service and then appm service dot start okay you can provide argument you cannot provide argument that is also okay no issue okay then uh, after completion of everything before after closing of this particular driver then you need to use for appm service dot stop this is a must and should okay every time you have to raise the service and then you need to close the service as well that you have to do every time properly then only it will work otherwise it will not work okay then <clears throat> you have to stop the service like you can close or you can do anything then again you can start the service if everything is perfect or uh, any without any issue then it will uh, connect to this particular emulator and then it will uh, open uh, settings okay now it is failed because of in my system there is a one issue is going on uh, i'm facing some issue it is not able to the socket is not able to establish the uh, connection to that particular uh, http okay that's why i am facing some issues even if i changed here <clears throat> 127 127 .0 .0 .1. And you can able to use for here WD slash hub. This is the proper URL. Okay. For this particular URL also, I'm not able to integrate particular one. <clears throat> I check the URL. I check that uh, both the cases. Same thing you can try uh, by providing for the URL WD and hub whether you are able to connect to the service or not in case if you are able to connect to the service then that is a good okay see still it is not able to connecting this particular one like you uh, are lib3 connection http some it is raising some issue in my local okay if I keep it also it, it is not working as expected it is keep on my connection is going to Losting. I tried so many connections formats, but uh, still not able to. In case if I get before closing this entire playlist, I'll uh, update an another video for this. Okay. Or else any another video, I will update for that. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues, and don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you.